Hello again YouTube, today I'm going to be showing books I picked up over the past week. Uh, this haul is basically from a shop that I sometimes go to. Uh, they had a couple of dollar books, a couple of three dollar books. So I just decided to go through the bins. Nothing I was really looking for, per se, but just found a bunch of cool looking shit. <laughs> so, well, let's get the haul started here. So first up, I picked up She-Hulk, uh, issue 8, with Man-Thing. It's basically She-Hulk versus Man-Thing. Uh, I really enjoyed this issue, so I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up a lot of She-Hulk, but I own a few issues of it, especially from this era. Uh, I believe this is probably her first series. And it just uh, depends what kind of book, because a lot of the ones I have are, you know, have skulls and stuff on it, and something cool like... Uh, Fighting like zombies or something. And that's, I think, the only two issues I have with She Hulk now is this one and that one I bought a couple months ago. And I enjoyed both of them. I enjoyed the character, but I just don't see me ever trying to put a run together of this. Uh, let me see here. This is uh, pretty cool here. I was, I was flipping through here. Let me see if I can find it there. I'm not sure if it's going to show up. But this is like an ad for uh, back issues of comics. And I was just thought, uh, to take a look at the Spider-Man down there. <laughs> Anybody need a issue Amazing Spider-Man 31 through 38 for 8 bucks each? <laughs> Let's see here. Where is that? How about issue 129 for $2.50? <laughs> There's some Daredevil books that I would gladly pay that price for nowadays. Or how about uh, Captain America 100 for 12 bucks? Uh, look at the X-Men. I know people like that. Yep. There we go. Fifty bucks there for back back in the day. This was from Mile High Comics too. So, but I thought that was pretty cool. Just looking at the old prices that people were charging for uh, <laughs> back in the day. So next up, we got giant size man thing. The <laughs> looks like versus the glob. Uh, I'm, I've always been a Swamp Thing guy. Um, lately, I've been coming on to the... <laughs> lately, I've been viewing, uh, <laughs> reading uh, John, or Man Thing. And, uh, and I'm, I'm interested in like the, like the stories from the 70s and stuff like that. Uh, nowadays, I probably wouldn't care too much for it, but getting issue one of Giant Size Man Thing. And I also picked up issue two. So I got both of those for a dollar each. I just love that cover. Just like a classic horror book. And let me said, back in the day, I was, you know, I've always been a Bernie Wrightson guy. Swamp thing. But as of recently, over the past couple of years, uh, night, basically the first series of Man Thing and some of the second. I, anytime I pick up, find the issues cheap enough, I always pick them up. Next up, this is uh, three dollars. I've been looking to get this for the longest time. I've been looking for actually for the Treasury edition of this, uh, two thousand one, a Space Odyssey. Um, I think the big book in here is issue eight with Machine Man or something like that, the first appearance. But I wanted the first issue. Because I love this movie, first of all. And, um, you know, Jack Kirby's art in there. And I think, it, you know, this is some of the... This is the kind of Jack Kirby art I like. Um, that... Let's, when this come out, let's see if I can... Yeah, this had to be, like... I not really say. But I'm guessing mid-70s. I'll just open it up, damn it. 
show you inside what it looks like. But being lazy. <laughs> Teach me to tape these books before I show them off. So this was a uh, came out in 1976. So that's pretty basically the years I really enjoyed Jack Kirby's artwork. I right, gotta skip a few pages here. Look at that, man. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, I'm interested to see how, if it's anything like the movie, if it is, uh, yeah, how close it is to the source material, I guess I'm just saying. Next up, Supernatural Thrillers featuring The Mummy. Uh, another thing I've been putting together, too, is a bunch of, um, like, the 70s Marvel horror books. Like the Mummy, Frankenstein, Dracula, Werewolf by Night. Anytime I get them, my hands on them cheap, as usual, I'll buy them up. Even though it's got some tape issues, you know, some cover rippage, you know, spine stuff. I got the whole works, but the horror books, I really don't care. Um, the condition, because I just think it adds to the adds to the book, actually. Next up is Green Lantern issue 48. I own the DC Universe variant of this. So, uh, glad to have this in my collection. It's got a lot of issues too. It got some, I don't know, something that needs to be cleaned off. And it got a nice little crease going across. No, no, it's worth a dollar. So, <laughs> yeah, it's the first appearance of Kyle Reiner. Okay. Next up is a character I really haven't ever read before, and I paid, well, I got a discount on these because there was an issue with uh, the comics uh, not being priced or anything like that. So when I pulled everything out of the, dollar, the bins, you know, I, it's, they've always been a dollar book for the longest time, and then all of a sudden there were three, but it didn't really bother me, I mean, because they were all newer books, or new to the store, I guess. So, but I I ended up getting these for two bucks each, and it's a uh, plastic man. Like I said, I've never really read uh, anything, any comics with plastic man. I thought, yeah, perfect time. Plus, I'm on a DC Silver Age and Marvel Silver Age kick, so I figured I might as well beef my uh, <laughs> beef my collection up with some Silver Age stuff. Then I got issue seven. These covers are just awesome. I just like remind me of just like being just like straight up comic books, you know. <laughs> Not none of this uh, why so serious crap. <laughs> and they're from the '60s, so. But at first, I thought that was uh, Gorilla Groot from uh, the Flash. Lastly, this one's got all kind of issues, but I didn't care. I just picked it up anyways. It's a uh, Plastic Man issue number eight. Eh, I figured, eh, give you a couple reads. Worst comes to worst, I just got a couple, <laughs> a couple books in my Silver Age collection. If I didn't like it, but uh, oh no, I think I paid a total of fourteen dollars for this whole lot, which is pretty decent. But uh, that's my haul for this week. I should have another video coming up um, on Wednesday, maybe, or Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not sure what, what day I'm going to put the video up, but uh, I'm updating my uh, want list for 2019. I uh, got a couple more issues off of it, so super happy about that. Uh, like I said, it's... June and I'm already halfway done with my list. This is probably the best I've ever done <laughs> doing my list. I I made a I got a you know a couple of baseball terms, a couple of singles, and a couple of doubles. Nothing really uh, hitting a home run with anything, but it's enough just to get me uh, get me through this year. Then next year it'll be uh, two, Batman two thirty two. But anyways, I'll talk more about that next time. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the new subs. Uh, so many great channels out there. I should do like a sh shout out video soon too. There's been so many uh, new channels I've been finding. Um, just lots of lots of good uh, comic book channels here. It's just uh, I'm blown away by all the stuff I always see. Uh, and for the, for you guys, there's a couple things I would never even heard of. Same with my Instagram people. Uh, I should do some shout outs to them because I mean that's uh, I'm just finding all this new stuff that I. That's the great thing about this hobby also, that it's yeah you. There's no way in heck you've read everything. There's always going to be something new, something yeah that you never read before. Then if you read it again, you're going to find something new that you missed the first time. So it's the beautiful thing about this hobby. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you next time. And please uh, check out my Instagram channel or ch uh, <laughs> Instagram page. It'll be down below. And I'll talk to you next time. Stay sick, Pittsburgh.